What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Bud Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So what you hear is the voice of Olympic gold medalist, six division world champion, retired Hall of Fame iconic Mexican superstar boxer, Oscar the Golden Boy De La Hoya, and now founder of Golden Boy Promotions, in which he promotes undefeated junior welterweight, lightweight Mexican superstar title contender, King Rock, Ryan Garcia, okay? Oscar De La Hoya, he pro promotes Ryan Garcia, who has 23 wins, no losses, no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout. He is 23 years of age, five foot 10 with a 70 inch homage. He's looking to stage a fight, according to Oscar De La Hoya. He reiterated and, re and recited something legendary, iconic, Hall of Fame promoter, Bob Arum, CEO of Top Rank, in which he was signed to Top Rank and Bob Arum, the legend, Bob Arum. And uh, Bob Arum once said, I was lying to you yesterday, I'm telling you the truth today. Oscar De La Hoya, he reiterates that because he says in this interview, and shouts out to Inside Fighting, uh, you can see this interview in its totality, uh, he states that, I know I told you guys that I contacted the team of undefeated three division world champion superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis. 27 wins, no loss, no draw. 25 big wins by way of knockout. He is 27 years of age, uh, five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach. So he's stating that I know I told you guys that I spoke with them, um, but I really only spoke with Mayweather Promotions uh, CEO Leonard Ellaby, okay? Uh, Javante Tank Davis is signed to Mayweather Promotions retired legendary iconic hall of fame five division world champion superstar boxer known as money the pound for pound former king undefeated 50 and 0 floyd mayweather and mayweather promotions which javante tank davis also is in partnership with pbc premier boxing champion founder and advisor al Heyman, uh showtime showtime president of sports steven espinosa okay now ryan garcia he fights on the zone with golden boy promotions um, Ryan Garcia, he fought July 16th against Javier Fortuna. He got a six round knockout victory. Javante Tank Davis, he fought May 28th against fellow stable mate, Mayweather Promotions uh, fighter and lightweight star title contender, Rolando Roley Romero. And he brutally knocked out Roley in the six round of his fight. And it looked like they was on a course to face each other, okay? But now, Oscar De La Hoya is saying that Al Heyman and um, uh, Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, are not allowing Javante Tank Davis to make the fight. And he goes on and says that he knows Javante Tank Davis wants to make the fight, but they're telling him no. Okay, so listen to what Oscar has to say. So we're still waiting. We're still waiting. I mean, I know I did say that, yeah, there's talks and this and that, but the truth of the matter is um, we're waiting. Uh, we're waiting for anything. We're waiting for something. So you see, he said that, I know I did say, uh, there's talks, but the truth of the matter is we're still waiting, right? Uh, and he's saying that he's still, they're still waiting to get uh, uh, information and somebody to get back to them, right? Um, so let's listen one more time. Uh, on the phone, uh, to no avail. Um, you know, we, uh, Eric Dick, speak to uh, Leonard Alibi, I believe, but obviously he doesn't make the decisions. Right. It's Alibi. So we're still waiting. We're still waiting. I mean, I know I did say that, yeah, there's talks and this and that, but the truth of the matter is um, we're waiting. Uh, we're waiting for anything. We're waiting for something. Um, we, we've been waiting for three weeks, four weeks. And so I got to do what I got to do. Uh so he said they've been waiting for three, four weeks. Now, he did fight, uh, like I said, Ryan fought um, July 16th. So um, it's four weeks, right? We are, um, today is the, the 18th. So... Uh, it's four weeks and two days since the last time Ryan Garcia fought. And uh, Oscar De La Hoya is saying they've been in contact. Now, I know I stated and I told you guys, I don't believe that Oscar De La Hoya is truly interested in making this fight. I felt like he put hurdles in the way immediately when he made the statement that uh, in order to make this fight, 
Al Heyman was going to have to be removed and not in the picture when we know the relationship uh, that Floyd Mayweather has with Al Heyman. Looks at him as another second father. He always says that. So why would Floyd Mayweather look to remove uh, um, Al Heyman out the equation? Uh, and he's Javante Tank Davis' advisor. So I felt like making those statements, you just put uh, a hurdle and a roadblock in the way of making this fight, okay? Uh, so uh, now he goes on and says that they turned their attention, their focus to former unified lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Tiafimo Lopez, who is now 17 wins, one loss, no draws, uh, 13 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, five foot, uh, set, five foot eight with a 68 inch arm reach, okay? Uh, he says, and he's going to say that it's much easier to get a deal done and, uh, with Bob Arum and negotiate with Bob Arum. Uh, they're still waiting for Javante Tane Davis. Now, this is not going to look good on the part of Javante Tane Davis should they uh, negotiate a deal and actually fight Tiafimo Lopez. He says that he believes Tiafimo Lopez versus Ryan Garcia is just as big as Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Uh, I don't believe that, um, but it is close. It's a close second. Uh, and he says that he believes the fight is going to happen December 10th um, in Madison Square Garden, right? So uh, listen to what he had to say. Um, you know, because Ryan Garcia is not getting any younger. I don't want to have him wait. Like well, he's not getting any younger, but he's only 23 years of age. It's not like he's hard pressed to make these fights happen as, as soon as possible because he's in the, in the fourth quarter of his career. He's still in the first quarter of his career. He's 23 years of age, okay? He's very, very young. Uh, but the problem is Ryan Garcia is not that committed to the sport of boxing and he's on record stating that he wants to retire by the time he's 28 So maybe that's the reason why Oscar De La Hoya is, is hard-pressed to make this fight happen But he's in the first quarter of his career. He's not in the fourth quarter Yes, Ryan wants the fight. He wants the second fight. And I know Tank wants the fight right. So here uh, he says that Tank Davis wants to fight. He knows Tanks wants to fight it's the powers that be. It's Floyd Mayweather and Al Heyman that are saying that, you know, that are telling him that not to take the fight and they're not negotiating, refusing to negotiate. Uh, this is not going to look good on the part of Javante Tank Davis because Javante Tank Davis, if this is the case, okay, I'm not saying that this is the truth. I don't know if it's the truth or not, um, but I'm just looking to pick sense from nonsense. Uh, but if this is the case, Javante Tank Davis, who uh, leading up into his fight with Roley Romero, uh, stated that he wanted to part ways with Mayweather Promotions uh, and Floyd Mayweather uh, and that he was going on his own. So that would have gave you the, the freedom uh, and the mobility to make this fight. And then he stated he wanted to fight undefeated, undisputed, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney, who was 28 wins, no loss, no draw, uh, 15 wins by way of knockout, 23 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. Uh, and then that just never, uh, was mentioned ever again leading up into the fight he sat down with brian custom on the last stand podcast and said that i want to fight him next i want to fight uh devin haney he's calling me out he has a lot to say i want to fight him next but after his fight he made no mention of it okay uh now you can do and stay where you want you know uh i, I like the way um mayweather promotions has built him up into a superstar floyd miller has directly passed him the baton putting him on the undercard the co-main event to the second biggest fight in the history of sport of boxing with team floyd miller and conor mcgregor uh so you know as far as building his star status up they have built javante ting davis up into a pay-per-view star okay uh he broke the live gate at, for a boxing event at the barclay center against roley may 28th with a five million dollar gate but if you want to fight the names that you're looking to fight and to prove yourself, if you're Javante Tank Davis, well then, and you feel like they can't do it, then why would you stay, right? Um, but you can't complain and say that because recently he stated if everybody does what they're supposed to, this fight with Ryan Garcia come to fruition. And then he alluded to telling Floyd Mayweather, stop making decisions, stop speaking for me. Well, then it's time at 27 to speak for yourself, but listen. So what's next? Teofimo Lopez, I can work with Barbera now i completely disagree 
Tiafima Lopez versus Ryan Garcia is a big fight. Is it the same magnitude as Tank versus Ryan Garcia? No, not at all. Tiafima Lopez has lost some of his luster. Uh, he lost his fight and he's uh, making a lot of excuses as to why he lost. Is it the same? No, it's definitely not. Um, but why did I say this look bad on Tank Davis himself? Because he's older than Ryan Garcia. Tank, he's older than Tiafimo. Uh, he's older than Devin Haney. Uh, he's older than Roley. He's older than all these guys. Uh, he's well been more accomplished than these guys as far as uh, uh, cementing himself as a pay-per-view star and a superstar in the sport of boxing, bringing the stars out. Uh, and again, you if they, he's able to negotiate a deal and fight Teofimo Lopez next, well, that's, that would lead me to believe to, to a certain degree that they were willing to fight Javante Tank Davis. Because if they go outside of the zone, now they did reach out to Maxi Hughes, okay? Uh, British IBO uh, star, major title contender, Maxi Hughes, uh, to have a fight. Uh, Ryan Garcia said he wanted to have a stay busy fight. You know, another fight in between fighting Tank Davis. So again, like I said, I don't think that they truly, truly wanted to make this fight with Javante Tank Davis. I don't think that uh, Oscar is confident in making this fight happen and feeling like Ryan Garcia is going to be victorious. But nonetheless, uh, if this is the case and they haven't had any contact and there's no movement, well, then that's not going to look good on the part of Javante Tank Davis. So uh, I like Teofimo Lopez versus Ryan Garcia. I like Ryan Garcia versus Javante Tank Davis way more. And I like Javante Tank Davis against Devin Haney even more than I like him versus any of those other guys. Or a, a fight with, you know, Lomachenko, two-time Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasil Hitech Lomachenko, right? 16 wins, two losses, no draw, 11 wins by way of knockout. Uh, 34 years of age, five foot six with a 66 inch arm reach. I would much rather see Tank Davis fight against those type, those guys, Devin Haney and Lomachenko. Obviously, uh, Lomachenko looks like um, October 22nd, he's gonna face off against Jermaine Ortiz, who just beat Jamel Herring. So he's gonna fight undefeated Jermaine Ortiz, uh, October 22nd, and, TF and Devin Haney is gonna rematch uh, George Cambosis Jr. October 15th in Australia. So they're not, uh, they're occupied, they moved on. Um, but Javante Tank Davis is the face of the sport of boxing from junior welterweight on down. Uh, he's the cash cow, he's the big superstar, pay-per-view superstar. And at this point, he should be picking and choosing who and where he wants to fight. And it shouldn't be this difficult. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section, let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for you. Peace.